our post-game conversation with Allen Americans head coach Steve Martinson. Well, Marty, uh, this was more like it. Uh, a lot of hitting out there tonight. Uh, the guys that you would expect to be involved in the offense were a pretty complete win. Yeah, I thought we, you know, one of the things we touched on last night is, that, you know, I didn't think we showed the skill and I didn't think we showed, you know, the muscle that we have. And I certainly think we did a better job of that tonight. I think we can bring more tomorrow, but, um, you know, tonight certainly was better. Uh, tonight was a typical Jake Patterson night in net. Uh, you know, he wasn't giving up uh, a lot of rebounds and uh, the pucks that were coming his way, the ones that he saw, he made the save. Yeah, I think, well, you know, um, I think about halfway through the game, you know, I think they were actually with like about five minutes left to go in the second period. They had they only had 12 shots on goal. So I know our, our shot total is not always accurate, but our, I think our goalies like it. But like last night, the shots were actually 31-27. But, um, you know, I was – they had a couple of pushes and they got some real good offensive players. And, and you know, if, if you let up at all, they're certainly going to get some opportunities. You've got to be sharp the whole time. Great game by Brett Newman. He looked really confident to bringing that puck to the neutral zone. Obviously, he was rewarded with a goal tonight. He could have had a couple – uh, is this the player that uh, we're going to see the rest of the way? Well, I think so. I mean, he scored 90 goals in the last two years. And, you know, that's, that's, that's a lot of goals. He scored more, more goals than, you know, anybody on our team. And that's not putting anybody as just, you know, we're trying to find the right mix with him where he's getting the pucks and, and, you know, getting the opportunities to score. And he went to the net, you know, Les made a great pass, but he also put his stick and went to the right lane and had a stick in the right spot to do that tip. And, and, uh, you know, we feel like he can score, you know, a lot of goals. We just got to make sure that, you know, he's getting the opportunity, like I said. House of Chucks continuing to score here of late. You know, it picks up his 13th of the year, and that was a typical House Chuck goal tipped in front. Yeah, you know, with LaBear's out, you know, I think we've got, we've got several guys that can go to the front of the net. And, you know, we need his big body there in the power play and, and Bo's been hammering pucks from the point. And, and, you know, when we, when we set him up for that one timer, which sometimes, you know, we have too much success doing that. So we try to do it a different way. And so I, I kind of snap tonight and I'm like, just get on your offsides and let Bo shoot the puck. So we finally did that in the second period and, and uh, took advantage of it. Frazier was pretty aggressive tonight. You know, when you always come back, when you play your, your former team, you're going to want to put on a show, but, uh, that one penalty there, the the uh, you know the, the the two penalties really cost them because we scored that power play goal right away. Yeah, well, you know, I I, I didn't I didn't trade him because you know, you know, we, we trade him because we had too many players at the beginning of the year. We had to let a lot of guys go. You know, the um, we let guys go with the wheeling where the third leading scores. So we just had a lot of players at the beginning of the year. We had a double affiliation and and. Uh, you know, when we trade guys, we hope that things work out for him and it didn't work out in South Carolina. So he may, you know, have come here with, you know, you know, to, you know, I'm not sure what was going through his mind. I didn't talk to him, but, but obviously if he takes bad penalties, you know, we got to, we got to take advantage of it. And again, tomorrow, right back at it, two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. It's one of those games where you got to get a quick, uh, quick meal, get home and get to bed and get ready to get yeah. back to the rink tomorrow. It's survival of the fittest in these these series, you know, when you play in, uh, you know, three games in less than three days. So, um, you know, we've got six defensemen. They've been playing with five, and, you know, we've got to take advantage of that tomorrow. Last thing, Marty, tonight was the team's 800th game. You've been a, a part of a lot of those games. Uh, the team's had a lot of success. W when you play those milestone games, whether a player or a team, uh, does anybody – you, do you notice that? Do those mean anything to you, or is it just another game on the schedule? Well, it's the first I heard it was the 800th game was just now. So, um, yeah, it was another game on the schedule for me. But, you know, that those those kind of things are nice, but I don't really, you know, I never go into a game thinking, okay, this is this or that. You know, we just want to win the game, win the game, and, and then get ready to win the next game. All right, Marty, thanks for doing this. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Tom.